Hey Smash fans, welcome to Super Smash Club. It's Friday, September 12, 2014. And here are the latest picks of the day from Sakurai's Miiverse post for you. On Monday, we got another 3DS menu, this time of the Vault. Pick of the day, this is what the view looks like within the Vault. Your trophies collection will start off with one randomly selected trophy. In your album, you can view pictures you've taken of fighters posing. Photos taken with the 3D depth slider on will take photos in stereoscopic 3D. And photos will be in 2D when they are taken with the feature turned off. So essentially you start off with one random trophy and you can also take 3D pictures just like most of the other 3DS games out there. So there's nothing really groundbreaking here. Pick of the day. In classic mode, a roller will spin before every stage to determine your reward. Rewards in red are for customization, green ones are for trophies, and yellow means precious gold. Of course, if you increase the intensity, the abundance of these rewards will increase quite a bit too. You can be rewarded for every stage, so in that way, this mode might be a little more generous compared to the previous games in the series. That's pretty cool, seeing how this game is said to have more collectibles than the previous games, so we'll make it a little bit easier to collect them all. In his bonus post he said, and here's the result screen. It shows you what you gained in each stage, but you won't be rewarded until you clear it all. If you mess up in the middle, you can lose some of them too. The fighter icons are special attacks, and icons like the shield are equipment. The icons that say me on them are hats and clothes for the me characters. Icons that show characters on stands are trophies, of course, and the coins are gold you earned. Okay, so those are all fairly basic, but then on Wednesday, Sakura hit us with this bombshell. Pick of the day. Users in Japan, you can now download the demo for Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. You can pick among five fighters with which to play. The stage is Battlefield, and the rules are fixed. There will be a few items and assist trophies available too. You can play via local wireless, so have fun playing with your friends. For users that's out of Japan, stay tuned for more news about the demo for Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. Screenshot is from Japanese version. You heard that right guys. The Super Smash Bros. for 3DS demo is coming out globally, and I'm psyched to say the least. Now I'm not going to lie, when the subject of a demo popped up on message boards over the last few months, I really didn't think we were going to get one, but thankfully I was dead wrong. In Sakurai, we must trust. Oh, and I'm sure you know the five characters that will be featured are Mario, Link, Pikachu, The Villager, and Mega Man, since the Japanese demo has been streamed all over the internet. But if for whatever reason you've missed all the streaming that's been going on, then stop this video right now and get over to Game Explains, or Zeros, or EW Networks, or Coben or Manny 456s, or PK Sparks's, or Show Foos, or BD Cool 213's channel. Just to name a few that have been streaming the Japanese version already. But just as a quick side note, the full character roster has been revealed by Nintendo yesterday. So tread lightly if you're looking to avoid spoilers. Sakurai also added a bonus post that said, the only mode available in the demo version is Smash, but also left open a feature called Tips. Just tap that button, you'll figure out the rest once you do. But who cares about that? We're getting the Super Smash Bros. demo before the game launches! The hype level is through the roof! Because from what I've seen, the gameplay is silky smooth at 60 frames a second, and all the landing lag that was present in the E3 build has been completely fixed. I'm gonna play this thing non-stop to get as much practice in as I possibly can before the official launch on October 3rd. Which honestly, can't come soon enough. Alright, alright. Let me uh, calm down and I'll finish the rest of this week's posts. So Thursday, we got a new alternate costume, this time for Olimar. Pick of the day, the hero from Pikmin 3, Alf, joins the battle. He has pretty much the same set skills as Olimar, since he's basically just his variation. He can't use Rock Pikmin either. They are different characters, so they each get their own title treatment on the character selection screen. See, it says Alf. That's pretty cool too. Way to save a slot on the character selection screen just by making Alf an alternate skin. Like I said, in Sakurai we must trust. Finally, on Friday he gave us some insider tips about the online mode for the 3DS. Pick of the day. This is the world statuses that you can see in spectator mode. The game isn't released yet, so the map looks pretty plain now, but I wonder what it'll look like once it's out. Also, this is where you can see all sorts of stats being tallied up. In group play and spectator mode, you can see characters you haven't unlocked yet, so watch out if you don't want to be spoiled. 
And then he goes on to give us some tips about the global smash power feature, saying, even if you don't want to be spoiled, it might be wise to select the online option at least once before starting the game. Your global smash power won't appear until the first time you connect to the internet. Not only that, but there could potentially be a patch available that can resolve potential issues, like the one being released now for the Japanese version of the game. For the package version, updates can be pre-downloaded to your system even before you purchase the game, so make sure you look out for them. I gotta say that the online mode looks pretty robust for the 3DS version of the game. And I can only hope that the Wii U version has even more online features when that gets released this holiday season. So those were the updates for this week. All in all, it was a pretty eventful week, but it's still not over yet as Nintendo is scheduled to host its Nintendo Direct today to feature the final version of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. And there's one more piece of information that I wanted to relay back to you guys, and that's about the great sales that are happening in Nintendo's eShops this week. To celebrate the launch of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo is having a special sale every single week on specific franchises featured in the game. And this week you can get Kid Icarus Uprising for only $24.99, Fire Emblem Awakening for only $29.99, a whole bunch of Zelda games including The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds for only $29.99, there's F-Zero, Sonic the Hedgehog, and a whole bunch of Mega Man games as well. So if you're still looking to add some of these games to your collection, now is the perfect time to do so. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, and take care Smash fans. Smash!